Okay, folks, even though I have been permabanned from Twitter and my account is actually permanently deleted from Twitter, uh, I can still see the Twitter site and see the trending topics that are out there. And one of the trending topics today is called Not How White Men Fight. And when I saw this, I thought it was going to be a sequence of, you know, trashy videos about how, you know, you got <laughs> you got a bunch of white guys fighting or something or fighting badly. Who knows? No, it's about Tucker Carlson. Tucker Carlson is in the news again after being unceremoniously dumped by Fox News. And this is apparently a text or something, you know, some op-ed type thing that he was going to submit back in January 7th of 2021. This was the day after the insurrection. And it talks about how a week or two weeks prior to the insurrection, he saw a video uh, of people fighting on the street in Washington. A group of Trump guys surrounded an Antifa kid and started pounding the living shit out of him. It was three against one, at least. Jumping a guy like that is dishonorable, obviously. It's not how white men fight. Now, that's where the quote on Twitter is coming from. It's not how white men fight. Now, the rest of the passage is basically how Tucker Carlson says, and yet I was finding myself rooting for the mob and then realizing this is sparking something bad in me that I need to quench down because the Antifa kid is a human being just like anyone else, and I should have regard for his life just like for anyone else's. So he's basically saying this is something that sparked something very bad in me, and I'm trying to quash it and become a better human being. Is that what people are taking away from it? No, of course not. Why? Because he said this phrase, jumping a guy like that is dishonorable. Obviously, it's not how white men fight. Now, people are bringing up, you know, oh, look at lynchings that white men have done in the past, and et cetera, et cetera. So obviously, this is as a general statement, you know, it's, it's a generalization that he's making about his own personal demographic that, of course, doesn't apply universally, just the same way that if any black person or Latino person or Asian person were to say something about blacks, Latinos, or Asians, respectively, that's not going to apply universally, of course, but it's something that the person might want to say as a boost saying, look, I expect better from people who look like me. Which is where the goddamn double standard is being applied again, because here you have Tucker Carlson, whose sin is being a white man expecting good things from white people, which is an anathema sentiment to the left. You know, this is, this is one of those cases where the double standard rears its ugly head and says, hey, anybody of a particular race can expect good things of his or her race. Except white people. If you're white, you should expect yourself to be crap. You should expect yourself to be the lowest of the low. And how dare you evince any sort of thing like a racial pride or a standard of conduct to which your race should aspire. Never mind if you talk about black excellence, but God forbid if you were to talk about white excellence and how well white people ought to do on the main stage. It's like, dear God. Are we ever going to set aside this double standard that says, look, white people can't do certain things that black people and Asian people and Latino do, like have pride in some sort of demographic character. Now, I'm not big on that sentiment, by the way. I don't like the idea of anybody saying, well, I belong to this or that particular demographic and therefore I have cause for pride or I have cause to think that I should hold myself to a higher or lower standard and say, you know, this is how I should behave based on this. There is nothing about your behavior that is determined based on this. You can be an, a person of excellent character and reason and intelligence without having it have anything to do with this. You know, it's, it's really literally the lowest kind of possible common denominator you can look for is to basically look at, at how you look in the morning and whether or not you get a tan or a sunburn or whether or not you, you glow under, or you know, whether enough you look blue in the moonlight or what the hell ever that expression is. Um, there's nothing that's supposed to be tied to race. And yet people of all sorts tie things to race. 
and are allowed to every day unless you're white because only if you're white is that not allowed here tucker carlson is basically looking at white people and saying damn it i expect better from you and everybody who is jumping his shit for saying so right now is basically saying how dare you tucker expect better from white people don't you know what trash white people are oh it's insane and the the fact that we let people get away with this double standard is what's insane i saw a black woman on fucking linkedin say do better white people in her little screed uh, about racial diversity and how white people are not doing enough do better white people she said to an entire demographic on a site that is supposed to help you get a job and has she suffered any ill effects from that just the fact that she felt comfortable being able to excoriate the majority demographic of her country on a site where she's looking for a fucking job shows you the kind of privilege that minorities can have that is not allowed to white people. You can see commercials on BET where you've got black actresses saying, I love getting up in the morning and seeing my skin in the morning and realizing that there's power in my skin. Something you would never let a white actress say. Something you would never let anyone white say. But there's this double standard. There's this double standard that says, look, if you belong to anything but the majority demographic, you get to have pride. But not if you're in the majority. If you're in the majority, the only thing that we're going to allocate to you is shame. And how dare Tucker Carlson hold white people to a high standard as if white people shouldn't just be crawling around in the dirt, abasing themselves, flagellating themselves, covering themselves in dust and ashes to repent for all the horrible things that white people have done over the years. Like, I don't know, helping to build civilization and end slavery. Fuck. Ugh, I'm just, it's so completely debilitating when you have people like me who were raised to try and think of ourselves as equal with everyone else, constantly being shown that the people whom we think our behavior, our, our attitude is supposed to be benefiting, don't appreciate that. Instead, want to say, well, you know, you really need to excoriate yourself more. You shouldn't, you shouldn't think anything good about yourself. And you never can because you bear the stain of belonging to the majority demographic. It's so debilitating. But, you know, we got to press on and just basically hope that someday everybody comes around to the same mind that we have, which is that this means nothing. All right? This means nothing. And so based on that, I actually do have a little bit of something against Tucker Carlson for this because I don't want to think that just being white obligates me to anything, whether it's good behavior or bad. I don't want to think that anyone's race means anything at all. And if we can finally get around to everyone having that attitude where it's like, oh look, a person of Polynesian descent. Oh look, a person of West African descent. And we could say, so the fuck what? In every single case, including white, that's when we will have a world that is truly post-racial, the kind of world that I hope is what we're all fighting for. Because if, <laughs> because if the only thing we're fighting for is a world of double standards, well, my God, who the hell isn't going to fight for their own? Is that really the world you want, where everybody just fights for their own, even if it's three against one? <sighs> Uh, I'm Mike Partika. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe. Uh, share this on Twitter where I can't. Join me on Gab, and I will talk to you later.